David Shaw says, I'm not hating, but the Browns haven't beat anyone at, uh, this year. That's just facts. Let's talk about facts, shall we? There comes a point when, when you're better than everyone you play on your schedule outside of a select few, and we're talking the Ravens, Steelers, and Titans, right, Kev? Yeah. Okay. There comes a point where you got to use common sense. You're trying to knock the Browns and say you haven't played anyone yet. Kev, go look at the standings. The Browns are better than 22 NFL teams right now. 22. So when you say that, oh, they haven't played anybody yet. Well, those same 22 teams that the Browns are ahead of in the standings have also played a lot of the same teams the Browns have, and they've lost, and they've lost a lot. Mm -hmm. So trying to spin it to fit your narrative that the Browns are this bad team is a joke. I'm not saying that the Browns are better than the Buccaneers or the Chiefs. I'm definitely not going to say they're better than the Steelers. I think we all saw what happened the last time those two teams played one another, okay, and the Ravens. I'm not willing to go there. But to sit there and act like this Browns team is nothing impressive. I mean, you guys are trying too hard, and that's why I call you a hater. <laughs> uh, Nick Wright said it this morning best. There's only two teams that have more wins in the NFL right now than the Cleveland Browns. There's only two teams. That's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Kansas City Chiefs. There are only two teams that have more wins in the NFL right now than the Cleveland Browns. So, yes, you are a hater, straight up. I'm not saying the Browns are winning a Super Bowl. I'm not even saying that the Browns are going to win their first-round playoff game. Because they're most likely going to run into a Pittsburgh. They're most likely going to run into a Ravens team. And I've seen, we've seen, we've all seen what this Browns team looks like when they go up against that type of pressure. Now, there's a lot of time left. For everyone out there mm -hmm. that says, oh, Joe Burrows, his rookie season's not done. The Bengals could win games moving forward. Maybe they put it together. They've lost a lot of one-possession games. Maybe they're growing. That's fine. Maybe the Browns get a big win over Tennessee here in a few weeks. Maybe the Browns, you know, take one of the final two against the Steelers and the Ravens coming up. Then what? Then are we going to say, what's your next excuse going to be that the Browns haven't beaten anyone? And there's a good chance that they don't beat those teams, Kevin, as we've talked about. That still puts them at 12 wins on the year. So all I'm trying to say is there comes a point, Kevin, where you get too far into the season to start using the excuse of, well, they haven't beaten anybody right. yet. Because at a certain point this deep into the season, oh, they haven't beaten anybody. But they're one of the somebodies. Like, they're one of the real teams in the NFL. Like, they're beating, they're, they've played a lot of bad teams, but they're proving that they're better than all the bad teams that they're playing. Their season's not more impressive than the Steelers or Ravens right now. Right. I'm not saying that. But there comes a certain point where I got I got it two or three weeks in. He got beat by the Ravens. Then you beat the Bengals, and you're beating some bad teams. I got it. That's why I was pumping the break. But right now, you're you're five and two. And you're most likely, if you beat the Raiders, which your favorite is, you're six and two. I don't want to hear, oh, they haven't beaten anybody. I don't. That's fine. There are 22 teams that have not even come close to doing what the Browns are doing right now. All the teams that are on top of them, the Chiefs, the Steelers, the Packers, the Titans, you know, those teams. All right. So there you go.